Alright guys, we're back. Okay, recording episode 19 of Let's Play Pikmin. Um, in the last episode, we defeated two boss battles in one video in the Forest Naval, so we took out both bosses in one video. Um, there is still one ship part remaining um, from the boss that we did defeat, defeat towards the end of the video, be long legs. We didn't manage to get the ship part back to the spaceship in time because the day cycle was almost over and it was um, heading towards sunset. So we're going to have to return here to um, take the ship part back to the spaceship. But also, in return, we're also going to be um, uh, getting some more red Pikmin sprouted and flowered in this episode. So that's basically really the main objective of day 19. Um, if I get enough Pikmin sprouted that I'm satisfied with, then I will go to sunset and then we'll be making a start on the distant spring properly in the next episode. Oh yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do in the distant spring. We got loads of ship parts to get. I might actually have these red Pikmin carry the ship part back, because, um, well, I think you need red Pikmin to carry it back anyway, because there's fire geysers outside of the boss room. flowered, I think. There are no leaves. That's good. Okay. Oh, no, there is one leaf. Damn it. Really? One leaf. It's always one. Well, if I can get another sap out of this, we can flower it at least. Although, I think, uh, I think that's a bit of a waste, though, just for one leaf pick. Yeah, fuck it. No, I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> it's a bit of a huge waste just to do that for one leaf Pikmin. So at least the Shear Grubs didn't respawn, so we don't have to worry about killing Shear Grubs. So we'll throw the rest of these on here. This requires 20 of them. We do have more than enough to carry that back. And, um, yeah, we got 28 on the field right now, so we're going to, um, get probably at least about, I'd say 20 red, 20 more reds out to make a start on killing some of these fiery blue hogs. Every single one of them is going to go straight to the red onion. Because we've got plenty of blues, we don't need any more blues. And I don't think we'll be losing any more. Well, actually, to be honest with you, we still have yellow wallywogs to deal with in Distant Spring. And a lot of them you can only kill with blue pigments. So I'm not entirely sure if uh, we will end up losing any more. But my gut instinct is telling me that we probably will. Yeah, the thing that sucks about fighting fiery blue hogs is that you're going to end up losing a lot of your flower pigment because they deflower them. It's the only thing that sucks. But I guess, like, towards the end of the day cycle, we can... Like, f whatever, p whatever pigment I've sprouted, we can... And whatever pigment like, I've used in battle, Flowered, we can flower them all up at the end. Yeah. <laughs> this is being flung around all over the place. I don't know, something about that amuses me. Guard satellite, this has protected me from space from space pirates. Say that again. Space pirates? Metroid? 
Metroid reference <laughs> many, many times. I have now recovered 22 or 30 parts. If I can just find seven more, if I can find just seven more, I should be able to yeah, increase my ship's capabilities. Okay, um, yeah, so I guess Metroid made a little cameo appearance in Pikmin with space pirates. Oh shit. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I just had a feeling. gonna have to kill this, aren't we? Yeah. Seriously? F Losing so many. Oh, my God, that freaking Wally Wog can seriously just, uh, I don't know, die. <laughs> I lost ten Pikmin just then. Ten because of that stupid freaking thing. I was doing so good as well until that just had to come and ruin everything. You guys can make a start on carrying some of these back, I guess. So I want to get as many of these harvested, and I want as many of them sprouted. So I'm not going to get any more reds out, because if I get more reds out, that's just going to um, total up to like. I don't know where these Pikmin are going with this. Where are they going? Yeah, because if I get more Pikmin out, like there'll be, or there'll be like quite a lot in the field already before sprouting more Pikmin. So it's just gonna, you're not gonna get as many out of it, if you know what I mean. Or you're not gonna get as many sprouted because you have too many on the field already upon the sprouting. I like how they try and freaking burn them even though they, it's not doing anything. Why are they going the long way? Why are you going the long way round into the freaking canyon of sheer grubs? Are you... Are you stupid? <laughs> Why they go in this way when they have a perfectly viable shortcut right in front of them? Yet they take the other detour. <laughs> no, stop taking the sheer grubs back because I don't need you to carry that. I need you to carry the. <sighs> okay, right, fine. Carry the sheer grub. I don't care. It's not, it's not like me talking to you and telling you not to do it isn't going to stop you. Because you're technologically programmed to be a gigantic pain in the butt.
Shaker up Sprout 2, I think. Um, 2 Pikmin. So. <sighs> Not that I really wanted a Shaker up, but I guess I just have to deal with it. thing right there looks like a whisk. I don't know, it looks kind of like a whisk. Okay, let's carry some more dead, fiery blue hogs back. <coughs> if we'll have time to do so. Are they going the way that I think they're going? Like, okay, at least they're going somewhere decent this time. I don't know why they went the other way. I have no idea. It's just, like, they should have just done this in the first place. Come this way. Well, thank God they're not being stupid anymore. I can at least say that the Red Pikmin have redeemed themselves. So, I guess you won't be getting punished for your lack of... <laughs> lack of decent Pikmin AI, I guess, would be the right thing to say. got it back. I'm almost there. Um, yeah, will we have enough time though to get another one back into the onion? Um, possibly. Possibly. We just have to get there quick though. Really quick. Whatever Pikmin I sprout in this day cycle, I'll be more than happy with. I guess. Okay, so we'll take this dead wall. Um, yeah, because I think the fiery blow hogs are worth more than the wally wogs, so it'd be worth it just to take the fiery blow hog back. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a cut very shortly because I'm running out of time too. So. Seriously, you guys are just like the most stupid. <sighs> Dang it. Fine, I'm just gonna pluck these then. Just, just in case. Because I don't know how. I don't know what time they're gonna get back. Okay guys, I'm back. Right, so, um, what was I doing? I was plucking, wasn't I? Yeah, plucking the rest of these red pig. Mm -hmm. well, they should still be carrying that freaking dead, fiery blowhog back, which they are. Okay, well, I guess they are taking kind of a shorter way. They could have gone all the way round, which would have been even worse. Yeah, I guess that 
will leave us some time to uh, get some of these all flowered up then, huh? Okay, I guess I'm okay with that. Just as long as I get him back in time. Come on, guys, put some Wally into it. Alright, they got it back. Okay, cool. So now these are just gonna have to get plucked, and then we'll have to flower the rest of these up. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll need to do more pick me. I might, I might have to on, like, the last day cycle before we go to the final area. I might just go back to the impact site and just try and kill some of them pearls and get some Pikmin from that, because two pearls can equal up to a total of a hundred Pikmin sprouted, so it's always handy. Uh, I just need to get some more sap. <coughs> Actually, what am I doing? I can just go down here, can't I? To get, to get the sap. It's on the beach, there's a huge grass patch that always seems to drop a lot of it, so I can go down here and get it. That's if the yeah it is still there, thank god for that. Okay, let's see how much we can get from this. I'm gonna get a decent amount. There we go. There's some. Ah, oh, I didn't get more flour though. That's disappointing. Shoot. That is actually quite bad. Um, yeah, because I don't think they. Oh, quick, quick, get, uh, get it, get it, just get it. Yeah, get it, <laughs> all of it. Come on. Mm. Oh shoot! I just realized something. Hang on a second, wait. I think I might have left. Are you... Oh, don't tell me that I... Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me, because I flowered them, and I didn't call them back in time. Or I didn't have the chance to call them back. Please don't tell me that I lost them. Please don't tell me that it happened, because... Yeah... Uh, it says, it shows one leaf pigment, but I don't know if that's just one that I lost, I have no idea. 19 days since impact. Fiery Blowhog, I wonder just how this planet's life forms evolved. This creature bel belches fire of all things. Once the pigment get caught up in the inferno, there is nothing that can be done. If only they had the power to face such flames without fear of burning. Well, that's the red pigment for you. Yeah, I left 15 of them behind because I was... I was being stupid. I was trying to... Well, I was trying to get them all flowered and then... Oh, well. I got 191 reds anyway. And most of them I did flower up anyway, so... A lot of the ones that came back were all flowered. So, um... Oh, well, I guess that's just a small price to pay. I can make up for that and redeem myself and get get more reds in the next episode, I guess, because uh, we have some more things to do in the distant springs, such as killing things and such, so I can take their dead bodies back to the red onion and get some more red pigment like that, and just progressively do it as we go through the remaining days up until the final area. So anyway guys, um, until then, this is NDM, saying thanks for watching, take everybody, see you in the next video, and goodbye.